I'm here with three of the most beautiful ladies from Bollywood. Uh, there's Neha Dupia, there's Chitranga Singh, and there's Isha Gupta. Thank you, ladies, so much for speaking to uh, ET. Now, honestly, we've never seen more beautiful ladies on our channel before. Number one, first thing I wanted to ask you, you know, there's so much talk about, you know, women's uh, grooming and, you know, how women should prepare for themselves. There's a modern woman, there's a Bharat, and there's a Hindustan and everything. Where does something like this fit in? Uh, you know, is this meant just for the women in the cities and women who are educated, or is it meant for all women? Is it how important is grooming, do you think, in today's world for all kinds of women. I'm going to start one by one. Yeah, first you should. Um, I think it's meant for uh, women all over the country because the reason being because A, it's been affordable and that's the plus point of Janet Venus. Okay. It's affordable. B, uh, like we've been mentioning before, it's so personal, it's so private. Like you really don't have to go and find a parlor and go through the whole process of where should I go? I don't have a parlor in my town not even city um, you know and it's the it's the closest thing that you have with you and you can go and do about it every time plus yes we've been talking about personal grooming because nowadays I think women are at par with men and that's what we really want you know men it's the easiest they shave and you know tidy up their hair and they're done and women I mean that's one thing that we really need well, there's no questions about the fact that, uh, you know, uh, men and women are on par. I'm just going to go to the next Miss India before coming to Chitranga Singh because she's not from the same group as you guys are. Neha, you're not new to grooming. I'm, I remember watching, uh, you know, your Miss India, uh, you know, pa pa pageant and, you know, your preparation and then watching you move into Bollywood. You know, you're an actress. You've been a model in Asia. It's just starting out, you know, you've been there for a long, long time. You've seen all kinds of things being spoken about women and actresses and this and that. And here you are with a razor in your hand. <laughs> you know, you know, you've done such serious films with before and you've got such accolades for acting before. Here you are with a razor in your hand and you're promoting a product. Uh, what is it like? How, why are you here? Why is it so important to even promote something like this? Do you, uh, how, how much do you believe in it? Well, um, you've asked me six questions, so I'm <laughs> going to start answering with everything. You, you, you're baffling me with the number of questions you've asked me. Well, to start off with, yes, I have done a wide range of work. I have, you know, been on stages where grooming is required and is of utmost importance. Uh, coming to your question, is it, why is it important? What am I doing here? Why is the reason? I think there is nothing more important than personal hygiene. It is the first and most important step towards personal grooming, which in turn makes you confident, which in turn makes you, you know, um, the person you are, which in turn makes you glamorous. I mean, you know, it's almost using a razor for a woman is almost as important as using a toothbrush. You wake up in the morning and these are the two <laughs> things you've got to do. You bloody well not be out there at work or at a beach or at a party with hair on your legs or your arms. And this is what we're trying to tell. We're not promoting a razor. We're promoting glamour here. We're promoting the fact that every woman who's multifaceted, who's multitasking, who's from any walk of life has the right to look confident, glamorous, beautiful, and like a goddess, and it's only going to happen if you have a Venus in your bathroom and you use it. That's the most important <laughs> thing. <laughs> the using the razor is the most important thing. Definitely, I would also suggest that to a lot of women. But moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It wasn't a sexist statement, it was just that I'm, I'm just helping the, to get the message across. Right? That's the same as you guys are getting across. It's important for all kinds of women, not just for actresses, not just for extremely gorgeous women like you. It's for important for everybody. It's, it's, a, it's an empowerment tool after a point with a razor in your hand. Yeah. You said it all. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm coming to you because, you know, Chitrangda, you know, you, you, you just burst onto the scene with Hazara Khwaisha. I see and people remember you from, from there as a serious actress. And you're here promoting something, uh, you know, a, a product for women. Uh, you know, it. How, much, how important is right now something like, you know, uh, uh, preparing yourself to go out, uh, using a razor, making sure you're hygienic and more, making sure you're, you're fully uh, uh, groomed to go out? You know, how important do you think is women, uh, is, there, is it for women in India right now? I mean, why is the sudden awareness uh, right now to, to okay. do all this? <laughs> Again, I, I don't know how many questions you asked me, but I'm going to try. Okay. It's pretty much the same thing. See, we're all talking about the same thing. I really think that for women in India, I think, uh, of course, there's so much more awareness and women are going out, they're working, they're going out, expressing their sensuality in so many ways, whether it's dressing up or attitude or whatever it is. And I think this is just one of the tools which will help you be yourself a lot more and more often. Um, it's, it's really just that. And uh, I think the one thing that is really important for me, which this allows, is uh, privacy. Like, we not even only talking about women who are working, who are modern, who are, you know, who have access to a lot of things to look great or whatever, but it's also about women who are in different family situations, in different kind of smaller towns, where you don't really get to go to a parlor, you don't get to do a lot, of, but you still want to feel great about yourself. You know, it's not just about... Um, 
looking great for the people you're working mm -hmm. with, the men, and you know, it's not just that, it's for yourself as well. And I think this is something which definitely is, uh, is going to sort of empower you. It's too strong a word to use, but I really think it does help. Um, like Neha was just saying a while back, you know, you have no idea what all a woman can possibly be thinking about in 15 minutes when she has to get ready in the morning. I, no man has any idea yeah. ever. <laughs> Believe me, women have no idea as well. So in those 15 minutes, if you have to think about, oh my God, when do I get to a parlor? It's not working. The whole day is gone. So yeah, yeah, save like, the day. <laughs> it's literally a, a part of, you know, it's literally a part of your checklist. Yeah. And your checklist is just so much easier yeah. when you know that something that by going in for a vax or going for a hair removal cream or a remedy is actually, I know that we're talking about something really close to us, really intimate. But you're talking about in this busy day and age and crazy traffic hours, etc., etc., appointments, <laughs> we're talking about something that's cheap, that's reliable, that's by your side. And, you know, it's, it's it's almost like, you know, one of your best friends will never leave your side till you don't dump it for a better one. Yeah, and cuts all the crap, no need to go to the parlor, etc., etc. You're just like a guy, like he wakes up and he shaves and he gets to work. You're just like a guy, it's the same like thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This is probably the only place where we spend lesser money than a guy does while <laughs> shaving. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Thank God for that. Yeah, I think all the men should be buying the razor, huh? You don't have to pay for the parlor bill, so it's I like, damn good. I just, I just love the line, and I keep saying it. This is the best a man can get. It's not Gillette, it's yeah. Venus. <laughs> <laughs> to watch more, subscribe to youtube.com slash ET Now Light.